And there I was, riding my brand new bike, when all of a sudden, bam, one of the wheels falls off, and I can't get it back on. Oh, jeez, that sounds terrible. Were you hurt? I can get Baymax to patch up. No, no, quick. it's fine. I'm a big, tough girl. I've survived much worse than this, although my legs are a little sore from biking all across San Francisco. I'm okay, really. Phew, that's good to hear. So about your bike, hmm. hmm. The axles don't seem to be functioning properly. Maybe I can, uh... Oh, my mother of Isaac Newton! Ugh. <sighs> Great. That's both wheels gone now. How am I going to get anywhere if I don't have a working bike? Well, you can still walk, you can ride to roller skates. Yeah, that's true. But the roller skates aren't fast enough. And walking isn't nearly as exciting as riding my bike. I just want to get the old me back. Hiro, do you know of anyone who can help us? Actually, I do. Come with me. Who the heck is that? Oh, him? That's Highness. Those girls in the berets are the mages. What are they doing? I don't know. Some kind of dance with their dark lord? Go, go, please, relax. Just take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah, I know. He might look weird at first, but he's actually pretty friendly once you get to know him. Come on, I'll introduce him to you. Hey, uh, Highness? Sorry to interrupt, but I've got another favor to ask of you. What? What? Ah, I still have returned, hero. I must admit, the Dark Lord had the most wonderful birthday yesterday. Birthday? You're making this up. Nope, it's all real. I even helped frost the cake and everything. And what a splendiferous cake it was! <laughs> but now we're in the second phase of Boy Terminus' birthday celebration. We perform a devilish dance for him. Spin around in circles until they get very, very dizzy. Whoa. I'm okay. That's it. I'm gonna whirl these creepy cult punks into next week. Oh, so you want me to spin even faster? Your wish is my command. One magician's it to ring in the park! <laughs> what? What's everybody looking at? Your nose. Huh? My nose? Oh no, not again. <laughs> it's even bigger than last time! I disgraced the Dark Lord and embarrassed myself in front of everyone! My hood, my mask, someone help me find my mask! The Dark Lord will strike us all down from where we stand! Oh, woe is me, woe is me. <laughs> Thank you, Francisca. Now then, where were we? Oh yes, you have another favor to ask of me, hero? Indeed I do. Actually, she does. Hmm, you're a rather peculiar looking one, aren't you? What do they call you around these parts? Go goes the name, spinning's my game. You see, the wheels on my new bike just popped off, and I don't know how to put them back on. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not an expert on wheels. However, I do know someone who is. Her name is Queen Sectonia. She runs a large honey factory on the outskirts of this very city. It has all sorts of things that turn and twirl. Windmills, water wheels, conveyor belts, you name it. Not to mention her juices and jams. Lip-smacking perfection! Whoa, she sounds amazing. How do we get to her? 
I mean, you can't just walk right up to a factory and, OF COURSE NOT! <laughs> Only the social elite are allowed in the Sectonius Honey Haven. You need a special ID to get in. ID? You mean like... THIS SUNSTONE! Once Queen Sectonius sees this, she will grant you access to her factory. Then she can help you fix your beloved bike. And now, if you don't mind, we'd like to get on with our demonic dance! Wow, I, uh, don't know what to say. Oh, how about, thank you, Highness! Yes, that! Look, we gotta run. Catch up with you later. Oh, and don't forget to try your jams! <laughs> They're really good, honestly. Oh, I could sure go for some jams right now. <laughs> so, how do you know where to find this, uh, honey queen? I don't know. Fall the sunstone, maybe? Huh. Who would have guessed? I think it knows the way. Let's follow it and see where it takes us. Absolutely, positively. If anyone knows how to fix your bike, it's her. Stop right there, foul intruders. How dare you set foot on Sectonia's honey haven without permission. Only those of the highest rank may enter here. Wow, Highness was not kidding about the social elite part. Oh, but your majesty, please understand. We need your help to fix my friend's broken bike, and you're the only one Science! who can- Silence! Your words mean nothing to me, peasant. I'm afraid I cannot help you. That is, unless you can prove yourselves worthy of entering this sacred place. Oh. Well, I do have this. <gasps> A sunstone? It cannot be. Very well, you may pass. I'm awfully sorry for the fuss I've made. I must make up for any distress I may have caused. Hmm, I know. Why don't I take you on a tour of my honey factory? And then I will assist you in repairing your bicycle. Oh, thank you, Queen Sectonia. You're the best person, be, wasp thing a biker girl could ever hope for. Oh, now she says it. Anyway, let's get on with the tour, shall we? With pleasure. Lower your spears, please. This is the power chamber. It's the room where we provide energy to our entire factory. Very eco-friendly, of course. That's a lot of water wheels. And those wind turbines are huge! This room is the compression chamber. Here we have many large machines for squishing and squeezing fruits. My worker bees also make their honey in this room, but they tire easily, so I give them frequent breaks and let them rest. Oh good, I'm glad there are good queen bees out in the world. And here is the conveyor chamber. This is where we fill our jars with our best honey and jams so we can sell them. My most frequent customers recently happen to be these three bears. We've been pouring out a lot more honey than usual. Wow, this place is incredible. So, are you really going to fix my bike for real? Of course I will, darling. But I'm not going to make it that easy for you. In fact, I might give you a couple of little challenges. Challenges? Well, what's the first one? Your first challenge is to get the wheels for Gogo's bike. Where are they, you ask? Why, they're up there, on top of the Dreamstock. We have to climb that? Have you lost your mind? No, no I haven't. I've slathered honey all over the Dreamstock so you can climb it more easily, but beware. Once you start eating it, you will not be able to stop. Seriously, it's that good. That 
sounds really hard, but we can handle it. We're tough as nails. Right, Hero? Mmm, honey. Oh, yes, yes. Tough as nails. Got it. Uh, ready for the first challenge, Sectonia? Excellent. Let's get started, then. So, we can't eat any of this honey? No, we must be strong and disciplined. This challenge is an exercise in delaying gratification. Okay, let's do this. Delay gratification. Strong and disciplined. Uh, maybe just one taste. Eat a lot of hero. At this rate, we'll get those wheels in no time. Hero? Grogo, you gotta try the stuff. Um, how many times have we told you not to eat the honey? Snap out of it, Hero. I don't know. Uh, sorry, Gogo. I don't know what came over me. That honey was so sweet and sticky. I just couldn't control myself. I warned you, young man. Right. Now, Tess's honey is poison. That'll make us climb the dream stop faster. There they are. My brand new wheels. Come to mama. Mission accomplished. Now, how are we going to get down? Wow, you were right, hero. That honey was amazing. So... What's the next challenge? I'm raring to go. Slow down, please. Your second and final challenge is to beat me in a race. My wings allow me to fly very fast. Oh, but I'm being so unfair. You don't have the proper racing gear yet. Stand back. Whoa, even better than a bike. And apparently it runs on solar power too. Do we get to keep it? Why, of course you can keep it. That is, if you manage to beat me in the race. If not, you will be bikeless forever. So, do we have a deal? Well, I'm waiting. Okay, deal. Marvelous. The Royal Road Raceway awaits. Germs, welcome to the Royal Road Raceway. I will be your announcer this afternoon, Taranza! Joining us in the race today are two San Francisco dwellers, Hiro Hamada and his best friend, Gogo, and their competitor, the lovely Queen Sectonia. Oh boy, oh boy, this is the race of the year right here, folks. This is the end for you, boy. Prepare to be defeated. <laughs> I'm only joking. Good luck, Hero. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm going to need it. And they're off! Sectonia's in the lead with Hero and Go Go Fallen close behind. How do we get ahead of her? I don't know. Try one of those item boxes. Oh, that's how you want to play it. How about this? <laughs> Banana peels, now that's a dirty trick. We're at the second lap and Septonia once again takes first place. Oh, 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 oh. That was a clever move, but this race is not over yet. I hope you like strawberries. Well, folks, it's kind of hard to see with all these 
grapes and strawberries flying around, and it looks like Hero and Go Go are pushed back to last place. And in the final lap, too. Oh, how, just how are they going to get out of this one? I have no idea. Wait, I just remembered this car is solar powered. Quick, take out the sunstone. Team Go Go wins! Wow, what an incredible race, folks. This day will be remembered for years to come. Good night, everybody! No, no, it's fine. My wings are just tired, that's all. But you managed to surprise me. I never thought a human could beat me in a race. <gasps> well, a deal is a deal. The race car is yours. So, do we get to keep the car forever? Yes, and know this. You are welcome to my honey haven anytime. Here. Take this jar of peanut butter as a souvenir. Peanut butter? Wait, I'm allergic! Go, go, let's get out of here! Was it something I said? Oh well, they'll be back.